Okay, let's continue. I think it's tech questions now. Um, we did that. Yeah, okay, let's, let's have a look now. Position function of a freight train is given by that formula with s in meters t in seconds and time t equals six Find the train's velocity and acceleration Using a and b is the train speeding up or slowing down Okay ST is defined as a hundred over t plus one squared Mm hmm. So we shall get the a derivative and we shall get it again. And then we want to sub in six. And then we want to sub in six and we shall decide then is the train speeding up or slowing down so its velocity is negative it's heading in reverse but its acceleration is positive so i guess that technically makes it slowing down because it's heading in reverse but the acceleration is forward direction Okay, yeah, all right. And we actually would have an answer at the back for 253. Should kind of bookmark these. 253. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. Super. Right, next now. Um, a mass hanging from vertical springs in a simple harmonic, simple harmonic motion that's given by the following position function where t is measured in seconds and s is in inches. I t plus pi over four, and um, position at one point five. There we go. And the velocity at 1.5. Okay. Right, that's fine. Now, total cost to produce X boxes of Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies in, is C dollars. <laughs> right, that's the formula for C. So that's zero point zero zero one x cubed minus zero point zero two x squared plus three x plus three hundred int that's the cost to produce x boxes and he weeks production is estimated to be okay so production x is sixteen hundred plus 100p find the marginal cost okay so that is the derivative um t's cost is changing so we want dc dt so that would be so what actually i should have done here is made it explicit that that is a function and then here, then we want C X T um, derivative with respect to T. 
ESB determine how fast costs are increasing when fee is two. Uh, so that is 90,300 dollars per week. Let's check the answer. Um, yeah, 90,300 per week. Yep. Yep. Okay. Great. Uh, I thought it was too that was on the right page uh right next one now we have a uh, shape okay i think we can just get both on the same screen a little handier okay the formula for a circle this area by r squared Suppose the circle expanding means that both the area and the radius is increasing. And suppose that the radius formula is given by 2 minus 100 over t plus 7 squared. Use the chain rule to find the rate. Okay. So, we'll do this a bit quicker since we're using software, but... If we weren't using, I'll show you what, what happens if we don't use software. So, hmm. what's going on here? Weird. Uh, Or it's unexpected. Okay. Guess I can't really show you what I want to do right now. It's acting up. I was going to differentiate them separately and multiply it. Maybe I can get this way. No, I can't. Oh well. Okay. That's the derivative and find it uh right there is going to four. That's it there. Whatever the unit is, inches. Inches squared per second. Yep, okay, that's that's fine. Right, maybe I can show you with this one two fifty seven. So we've got the surface area, or the volume of a sphere, is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. The radius is 1 over p plus 1 squared minus 1 over 12. And uh, we want the derivative here. And then sub in one minute. Feet. So that would be feet cubed per minute. Okay, let's have a look here. Two fifty seven. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. And next one. 
t x is 94 minus 10 cos i over 12 x minus 2 the daily temperature in fahrenheit of phoenix in the summer is given by that where x is hours after midnight find the rate at which the temperature is changing at 4 p.m that's uh, 1600 isn't it so we have to differentiate oops oh it did not let me type that in that's a, this is a very weird error at the moment type it in when there's a one weird error what's wrong with the program okay i know what i'll do just copy the function differentiate it invalid expression for substitution oh it doesn't like something here with the x Okay, let's fix that up. Hmm. It's not liking something here now. Weird. It's really weird what's happening here. The X keeps falling out of the bracket. Why is it doing that now? Why is it doing that now? It's square brackets. Get it. I. No. Like X for some reason today. Let's replace Y with X over two. Maybe it's just not displaying it correctly. Maybe it is. <clears throat> Ah, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I'll just close and open it up again. Okay, now can I do like a factory reset or something? Let's do a factory reset. Now that I do factory reset. Start drive using the factory default settings. Yeah. Let's hope this fixes it. All right. Px. 
is 94 minus 10 cos pi over 12 x minus 2. Okay, now that seems to have fixed it. And so being uh, 6 p.m. 4 p.m. Yes. Okay. Yep, that, that's it. Good. Okay. And then the last one. Et. Five. Sine. Pi over six t minus seven over six pi plus eight. Ah, now we're back to this error. Okay. Yeah, weird. Weird, 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 weird. Let's try again. DT. To find that's 5 times sine pi over 6t minus 7 over 6 pi plus 8. Alright. Uh, deriv not uh, derivative. Find the rate at which the depth is changing at 6 a.m. And uh, t is number of hours after midnight. So that would be just sub in, sub in 6, I would think. So that seems right. Kind of remember that answer. About 2.3. Yeah, about 2.3. Yeah, okay, good. Good. Find the rate at which the depth is changing. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 2.3 feet per hour. All right. What is coming up next? Inverse? Yeah, inverse. Um. Yeah, okay. Implicit differentiation and then exponential. Yeah, okay. We're doing well. We're doing well. We're, we're approaching the end of chapter three. Uh, a few more sections left, but we're, we're doing pretty good. Okay, well, we'll leave it there for today. Any problems or comments, please do let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone next time.